in the future, who do you think you will be? Your future self is your mental image of who you might become. And it is inspired by your values and role models that show you who you could be. And it is shaped by who you were told you ought to be. And your future self has really quite an important role because it gives you a sense of meaning and direction in life. And it provides you with the motivation that is necessary to take charge of your future and shape what it might look like. For the past 15 years, I have been studying how people use their future self in navigating their career. And increasingly, I have found myself wondering, in imagining our future self, how do we deal with the fact that the future is full of different possibilities? that we may never really know what will truly make us happy and fulfilled among all of the different aspirations that we have. So maybe, in imagining our future self, it is best to keep our options open. Like a friend of mine, like me, he is a professor, and we started our careers at roughly the same time, and while we lived in different countries, we would run into each other every year or so at a conference, and in a sea of suits and egos, he was one of my favorite people to talk to. We would sit in hotel bars and talk for hours. And there were lots of things that we had in common, like a passion for research, but there was one way in which we were different. He could imagine different possibilities for his future. He loved being a professor, but he also thought quite seriously about opening a wine bar. And there were spreadsheets with wine lists, and he learned all he could about Italian reds. And when he had a bad day at work, this is what he thought about. He could see more than one possible pathway in his future, and he was sure that not having all of his eggs in one basket was the best way. Now, I disagreed. I wanted my future to be a single clear path. Rather than holding on to different possibilities and maybe feel torn between them, I wanted to have a crystal clear goal that I was steering towards. Surely, wanting to be more than one thing meant that you didn't do particularly well at becoming either. So I wanted to have a clear goal I was walking towards, because we all know that this is how you get what you want. You have to pick a goal and follow through. You have to be able to see it clearly, and then you can manifest it, or make it a habit, or develop a five-step plan to achieve it. And that is how we get to live the life we want. So in imagining your future self, what is the best way? Is it better to think of your future like a colorful canvas full of different possibilities? Or like a bullseye with a crystal clear goal that you're steering towards? We didn't agree. And so we did what scientists do when they can't agree on something. We decided to study it. And that was 10 years ago, during which we studied the future selves of thousands of people. And as it will turn out, neither one of us was right. But let me tell you how we got there. When we first started to study this, to try to find the answer to our question, we got pretty stuck. And that is because we're asking people to tell us the story of their future self. We're asking them to project themselves into the future, imagine what it would look like, imagine the future self, and then tell us what they saw. But here's the problem with stories. They need to be coherent and understandable. When we are asked the question, where do you see yourself in five years, the very act of telling the story requires us to present something that is convincing and to make sense. And in telling a story, whether we intend to or not, this means that we edit and we erase the parts that do not fit. So stories are really good at capturing this way of thinking about the future, a single clear goal that you can tell a convincing story about. But if this is how you see your future, a story will not allow us to see it. So we realized we had to find a completely different approach to studying future selves, a method of capturing them that makes room for contradictions, for scattered ideas, for there being many different possibilities that wouldn't fit into a single coherent story. We decided to start off by studying the dots of paint on the canvas. 
the different hopes and aspirations that people have for their future self. What kind of qualities does your future self have? How is your future self seen by other people? What kind of relationships does your future self have with others? What kind of environment is your future self in? And what are the important things that have happened to your future self? We developed a research-based tool that guides people through a reflective exercise where they make choices based on their preferences and interests, choosing the aspirations that are most important to them. And then we ask people how these aspirations relate to each other. Between each pair of aspirations, is there a synergy, a helpful connection, or are they maybe in conflict? And this allowed us to look at future selves as it had never been done before, as networks, as interconnected webs of aspirations that people have for their future. And using this approach, we have now studied the future selves of thousands of people from all over the world, from students to senior executives, from freelancers to civil servants, and we have showed them their future self. And when we study these future selves, we can see that people vary, of course, in the number of aspirations that they have for the future, and they vary in what these aspirations are, but that's not really the important part. The important part is in the interconnections. What does the network look like? Is there a lot of synergy in the network? Is it really integrated and very dense? Or is it maybe more spread out? with different groups or clusters of aspirations, which we highlight in different colors. And this is how we have met the future self of William, a successful, charismatic, and incredibly charming entrepreneur who's really energized and excited by all of his professional goals, but for whom finding love and having a fulfilling relationship with a partner so disconnected from and in conflict with his other goals, he couldn't really imagine himself ever getting there. And this is how we met the future self of Gabriella, who wanted really badly to be efficient and well organized, but who saw no connection between this aspiration and the other things that she was striving for. And her future self has all of these wonderful qualities. She's outgoing and creative and curious and confident and passionate. But there seems to be no connection between all of these qualities and the desire for a sense that is organized and efficient, which ironically means to her future self looking a bit chaotic and messy. And this is how we met the future self of Catherine, who is what you might call an anxious achiever, a successful leader who is uh, seemingly thriving, but who does quite a lot of secret crying in bathroom stalls, um, who wishes for nothing else than her, for her future self to be calm and relaxed so that she may be able to enjoy what is a full and exciting life. So when we show people their future self network, we don't put them in a box. There's no classification at the end, no type or profile. We don't want to reduce the complexity of people's views about their future. We want to help them see it. So rather than starting with a story mapping out your different aspirations for the future first and allowing for all the scattered parts of yourself to be there allows for a different story to emerge. One that we would never have seen if we had simply asked people, where do you see yourself in five years? So now that we have this exciting new way of looking at future selves, what is the answer to the question we started out with? Whether it is better to think of your future like a colorful canvas of different possibilities or like a bullseye with a crystal clear goal that you're steering towards. Now what we find, and this is where neither one of us was right, is that it doesn't really matter. That isn't really the important question. What matters is how what you want relates to what else you want. The interconnections between the different hopes and aspirations that people have for the future are what matters. When there is a lot of synergy in a future self network, when moving closer towards one aspiration brings you closer towards another, then people have more energy available to work towards the future that they want. And they're more likely to take action, doing things like seeking advice or building connections or developing skills. 
So now that we know this, how can you think about your future self differently? Rather than investing your energy into which goal to pick, so that you can tell a coherent story about what your future will look like, focus instead on the connections, on the synergies between your aspirations. Like one leader I was working with, who spent a lot of his time singing and performing on stage, who found that this brought him closer to his aspiration of being a convincing presenter in the boardroom, because he no longer felt nervous in front of any kind of audience. Like William, who hopefully, with time, will realize that all of the qualities that make him a successful entrepreneur will also make him a wonderful partner, bringing this somewhat lonely aspiration out there closer to his other goals. Like my friend, who could imagine both being a professor and being a wine bar owner, we may find synergy between these quite different possibilities, like making rare discoveries accessible to others or traveling to learn and explore. And uh, let's face it, a love of wine will also serve you extremely well in academia. <laughs> so I want to leave you with this. As you map out and explore your future self, you may well unveil a canvas of possibilities that stretches beyond a single clear goal. It's not really about choosing a single path or many, it's about weaving the threads of your aspiration into a harmonious tapestry. And it's in these synergies, in these connections, that you will find the true power to turn your dreams into reality. Thank you. <laughs>